Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're excited as I am for this particular episode. So today I'm going to give you guys my Egyptian experience. <music> my previous video you know that i had my maiden flight to egypt and i'm here to tell you guys the experience the whole experience from the first day to the last day the good parts the bad parts and just to give you guys a glimpse of how egypt was if you're planning to go there you'll get to see some places you can visit and if you you know you you, you, you just want to know something about egypt i hope this will be a good uh, video for you guys to get to know it this is also a video for any person and any law student who is out there who is doing a moot court competition yeah because i went to compete in a moot court competition and so if you're a mooter out there i hope this video will be encouraging to you i hope you love it and you'll keep going with the mooting spirit so in the previous video we ended with uh, having arrived at egypt at the cairo international airport so when we got to the cairo international airport we had the students of the british university of egypt picking us from there those were our hosts yeah so they came to the airport they picked us and then now we went um to the university so we were ferried using a bus uh their buses very cool buses guys very very cool buses so what was my first impression about egypt first things first that place is so hot <laughs> i think they were telling us that we went at a period when you know it's summer and things are hot nee, 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 nee. but for us eh, we felt like it was really really hot like you'd literally and it's all the heat like the normal sun that you're used to here in kenya no this was the heat it's like you're in an oven, <laughs> if I could put it that way. Maybe I guess it's just the difference in, um, you know, weather. And for those who are in Egypt, they're used to that. Yeah. But for, for me and for my friends, uh, this was a very new experience. Yeah, so first things first, Egypt was very hot. Um, we went on the 24th of July, so it was really hot. Yeah, and then the second thing is that that country is desert-like. <laughs> guys like there was sand everywhere and especially the airport like you you we we well you you know when you're going to land in the airport you just see sand all over and then now when you get out and you're on the bus and you're moving we're being ferried from the airport all the way to where we were going still guys sand all over but yeah so after some miles you get to see now the beauty the beautiful places in cairo you get to see a very big road six lanes guys six lanes in a road yeah and so it was it was really really beautiful so we get to the british university of egypt um of course that evening we just have like um we, we had dinner and then after having dinner we went to our dorms so uh, we were separated so girls were staying in their own dorms and guys in their own dorms so in the girls dorms that particular night my fr myself alongside some girls uh, we decided to have like a, a meeting quote unquote just to get to know each other and to get to understand the different cultures as you all know guys this was a competition an African competition with students from all over Africa we had Egypt we had uh, Zambia Zimbabwe South Africa Nigeria Ghana Kenya Uganda you name it we had students from all over the continent coming for this particular competition so at that particular night um we were in a room we were just chatting i had friends from you know uganda ghana south africa we were talking about different cultures we talked about uh you know the way in uganda you have to go down to your knees when you're saying hi to a man and then to do in which other country you have to fall down like it was just a crazy you know conversation and just getting to understand the diversity in africa yeah so that was pretty much it for the first day and then the next day now that's the first like the day one in egypt now we were to have the opening ceremony for the competition so on this day yes we woke up and then my room my room was room 108 so i was sleeping with my teammate her name is grace i think you saw her in the previous video so in our room 
we called it the Kenyan Embassy <laughs> because we had uh, our friends from Kenya, from other universities in Kenya, for example, the University of Nairobi and Kenyatta University coming to chill in our room. So we'd always meet in our room, maybe come and converse, make stories, yeah? So that next day, we all met in the room and just had a little chat, getting to know each other, where we come from, nini nini, yeah. So hi guys, this is day one of um, Egypt. So I'm going to show you guys uh, my friends from Kenya. <laughs> fellow Kenyans. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys fellow Kenyans. Yeah, what I, what I did you introduce? My name is Masi Mazeu Mengi, also from Kenya. Oh, I'm in the University of Nairobi. Hey. I'm in Kenya. Kupo Kupo Hi guys, my name is Michelle Kakai. I'm from KU and I'm happy to be in Cairo. Yay! Lakini food. Hi guys. From Kabarak. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Though the heat is quite a lot as mm -hmm. Kenyans were there but really but mm -hmm. we are coping up. Okay. Hello Kenyans. Yeah. My name is Alvin Kubasu from Kenyatta University School of Law. Yeah. And then from there now we went to we went to the where we were having breakfast. So at breakfast we'd meet with the guys that be ferried from their dorms and then they come, we have a meeting or we we have breakfast together. Yeah, so um the opening ceremony was really amazing. So well after having breakfast, first let me tell you guys about the food. That was the first time we interacted with Egyptian food. Yeah. So their food their food was okay, it was good. Let me just start there it was good but they also they're eating things that we're not used to for example raw vegetables like you'd find cabbage a whole cabbage being served mm? or a raw tomato big tomato like this you have to you serve it and eat with other things um some other foods were like um uh there was a whole uh, bowl of coriander that was also very very unique and different for us, yeah. And then the other thing was food with cheese. There was so much food that had so much cheese, but with time we got used to it. Other than that, we also had normal foods like rice. I think most Africans like eating rice, so we also had rice, and that was that was amazing for us. Yeah, so we had breakfast, and then we went for the opening ceremony, which was held in the um, auditorium of the British University of Egypt. It was a beautiful opening ceremony. We had faculty members from that particular university uh, coming to usher, in, usher us in, welcome us, and just welcome us to Egypt. And then we were also given the rules for the competition, and we were told what to expect. We were told, uh, we were divided, of course we were already divided into teams, so we were just given the schedule, which team will go against which other team during the competition. Yeah, and then um, during that particular opening ceremony, we also had a concert. Let me see what That was a very fantastic concert. Um, we had a student from the British University of Egypt singing for us different songs, French, um, Portuguese songs, English songs. It was really lovely. After that, 
after 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 the concert we now had another opening dinner so it was a fantastic dinner um outside the it was just done outside fantastic dinner we had food we of course had a lot of food we ate uh we also was it you know the kenyan team we at that particular time we sat as countries i think it's because we were still getting to know each other so in the kenyan table we decided to sit next to the dj guys you know what happens when you sit next to the dj <laughs> You call the shots. You decide which songs are gonna be played. <laughs> so we ruled. We really ruled the, you know, that that particular dinner, that particular point. Most songs that were being played were the ones we were choosing. But yes, we chose Afrobeats. We noticed that most Africans loved Afrobeats. That's something that united us. But we also played um, uh, Saudi Soul. If you don't know Saudi Soul, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so I also played Saudi Soul, so that was pretty much for the first day. So guys, now on the second day, the second day is when we now began the competition. So maybe I should now give you guys a little, de a little detail about what this competition is all about. This will be helpful for someone who is not a law student or who is not in the legal field. Yeah. So um, a moot court competition is just a competition whereby students are given a hypothetical scenario and then you're told to argue it out as a case. So you're given hypothetical scenario and then maybe there's someone who's infringed certain laws and so as a student or as a participant in that particular competition you're supposed to make legal arguments for the person who like you, you make arguments for the case and against the case so for the case it means you're representing the person who's bringing this case before court and then against the case is you're representing the person who who has been you know who is being brought to court yeah so like if you're kenyan and you understand this language you you make legal arguments for ali mshtakiwa na anayeshtaki yeah so that's what you do so a court competition we're given such a scenario and then you use the law that we learn in class different laws you if it's a, a local competition maybe it's if it's a national one you use the national laws yeah so you use the constitution and other things if it's an international competition like this particular competition that we're doing you'll use international law so international human rights law because the christop hines moot court competition is an international human rights moot court competition and basically deals with african human rights system yeah yeah so that's pretty much it so during the competition you appear before a judge so it's like just people who are picked who are able to adjudicate or pass off as judges they listen to your arguments and then they make a determination so this particular competitions usually have two sets of um, preparation you need to have a written prepare writ written draft rather and then the oral presentation so the written draft is usually called the memorials so you do that and then you submit way before the oral presentation competition time yeah so now we had already submitted our memorials a long time ago i think a month earlier and then now we're going for the oral competition yeah so um the next day my team which was team 40 we were going we're going to compete twice so for the applicant's case the applicant is the person bringing the case and the respondent's case the um, yes the other side the person who's been brought to court yeah so now for the applicants case we're going against a university from uganda and we were the applicants uh, advocates 
Um, the round was really interesting. We had a good time. We went against people we had already met. The previous night, in fact, one of the girls who we were chatting with, we met her in court. <laughs> and we had a good time together. We, we argued for the applicant's case. They came and argued for the respondent's case. And then for the respondent's case in the afternoon, we went against a university from South Africa. Yeah, so for us, for Grace and I, we felt like we had done so well. Because you see, in these competitions, you're not supposed to read anywhere. You're supposed to have, you're supposed to have it in your head you're supposed to know what you're going to say and then as you present you have a particular time limit you're supposed to present for like 15 minutes each speaker so we stuck within the time limit and then you also get asked questions and when you're asked a question you must answer it and give um you, you must give an authoritative answer you must rely on a case law or particular laws that you learn in class yeah so now for Grace and I, we felt like we had done so well in fact we were sure guys we were sure that we were going to proceed to the next round but shock on us, we did not proceed to the next round. And that was really unfortunate. And I don't know, when I look back at my entire trip, that was the most unfortunate thing that happened to me. Yeah, and I think for Grace and I, we did not believe it. And you know, it was terrible because to proceed from the preliminary, preliminary rounds to the quarters, they needed 16 teams. You know, 16 teams are so many. And we were around 50 teams, yeah? But 16 teams, it's not like the usual quarters which they need eight teams. 16, 16, this, those are many teams. There's no way we felt like we could have missed out of the 16 teams. But guess what, guys? We missed it and we were really crushed and we felt really bad about it. Um, yeah, so that was our day, day two and it just went by. So the next day when we woke up, we even missed breakfast. We didn't go for breakfast. It was like... We, it was like we were in a morning phase. We were mourning this mood because we had prepared for it for five months. And then it just, uh, we can't even explain. Yeah. So the next day when we woke up, we missed breakfast. We had a very lazy day. But now we had to pick ourselves up. You know, when things happen and you don't understand how, what do you do? You pick yourself up and you move on. Yeah, so the next day we decided to walk around. That's when we got to see the school. We saw how the British University of Egypt looks like. Very beautiful architecture, guys. Um, they have a lovely, lovely auditorium, lovely grounds, uh, beautiful classes. Oh my gosh, that is a very beautiful university. <music> And then that was, that was also the day when we had a chance to go to the mall. So we went to the open air mall. It's in, in Madinati. Yeah, and we went there. We were able to window shop. We met our friends. We met a friend of ours from Africa. He's, oh, from South Africa, sorry. His name is Africa. I got myself a new hat. Ooh, how much is that? 15. Ooh. But don't ask me about this. Oh, uh, oh. okay. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Literally, his name is Africa, guys, and he's from South Africa. So we met him in one of the shops. He had also lost the previous day. Yeah, and then we got to buy a SIM card because we didn't have internet. Yeah, so yeah, so that was, that was pretty much it. We went to the open air mall. When we went back to the university, later again that evening, we went back to the mall. We were able to see a train that would carry people around in the mall. Yeah, that was also something unique that we saw in that particular mall. Yeah. To the next day guys 
um, this was the conference day. Uh, so the way this competition is set up, apart from competing, they also have a conference where we look at the um, thematic areas of, of that particular competition. So for this specific competition, we're looking at three particular areas. We're looking at climate change in Africa, looking at human trafficking in Africa, and artificial intelligence. So the conference on this particular day centered on these three main areas. And um, the competition was held in a um, certain hotel called the Renaissance Hotel. Yeah, the Renaissance Hotel. Also, it's also called the Cairo Mirage City Hotel. Yeah. So, well, the conference was both virtual and uh, physical, so it was a blended setup of conference. But before we went to that particular conference, guys, of course, we woke up, we went for breakfast, and that morning, everyone was in a very happy mood because you see now you're, you're, you're leaving the university, you're going to a new place. Yeah, so that morning we took so many photos. I took photos with my friends. We took photos with those uh, of us who are from Kenya, Team Kenya. And then we now went to this particular hotel. So when you go to the hotel, guys, hey, it was so beautiful. Like just having a look at the sculptures in that particular hotel, very unique sculptures. And then the pool itself, oh my gosh, it was breathtaking. Um, the other thing about that hotel is that we had, can I call it a world of snacks? <laughs> because we had a whole, it's like a big area for set aside for snacks only and juice stations and tea stations. At this point, guys, you may think that I'm very foodious, but trust me, even if you're not foodious, the snacks are very appealing. You just want to serve everything. So remember that day was really fun because now we got there. Before we began the conference, we were able to pick snacks around the different stations. And then now we went in for the con conference. The conference was very enriching, intellectually enriching, guys. We had, um, guests from all over the world speaking to us. We had Michael Gerard from the University of Columbia. We also had Dr. Abir Haddad. We had Anne Kubai, and we also had um, Eduardo Capapello presenting a paper of his. Yeah, so that was pretty much it. The conference was amazing. Um, then when we got out from the conference, we now went back to our dorms. <laughs> So on the way back, we got to see the city of Cairo. You know, you get to just see how beautiful it is. Of course, the other day when we were coming out from the airport, we saw the way it was full of sand and desert like. But this time we also got to see the, the, the buildings within the city itself, the bank, the, the, the malls and everything. It was really, really beautiful. So now we went, when we went back to the hostels, by the time we got there, it was night. And when we got to the dorms like these guys, the British University of Egypt volunteers who are hosting us, they had prepared for us, guess what, a Red Bull party. <laughs> Literally, they had come with a Red Bull vehicle, parked it there, and they were giving us Red Bull as we got out of the buses. And then they started singing and dancing around there with, with us. It was just a beautiful, it, it felt so homely and welcoming and so beautiful yeah so we had a red bull party quote unquote yeah i i got to test a watermelon red bull for the first time yeah <laughs> yeah so that was pretty much about the fourth day having the conference and just going back to the dorms <laughs> Africa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>